More than a decade on from the first mention, plans for a cross-river rail line in Brisbane are back on the table. But that's where they'll stay for now because the $5 billion project is yet to be funded. Here's state political reporter George Roberts. All aboard for the third time. The Palaszczuk Labor government is moving full steam ahead in terms of the cross-river rail. Sound familiar? If we had a dollar for every time that Labor was going to do the Cross River Rail, we'd probably have enough money to deliver it by now. Cross River Rail has been a political football for far too long. The 10-kilometre line would link southern Brisbane at Dutton Park with a 6-kilometre tunnel snaking under the river and across the city. The line would pass four new stations before arriving at Bowen Hills. But wind back the clock and there's already been delays at all stations. The need for another cross-river line was first flagged by Peter Beatty in 2005. Three years later, Anna Bly put up a $14 billion rail plan. In 2013, the Newman government proposed a double-decker bus and train, or BAT, tunnel instead. That makes this plan the third in at least eight years. Include light rail proposals and fruitless plans have been touted for Brisbane since 1997. Uh, what's different this time is what we're saying is the government won't deliver this. We'll set up a delivery authority. We'll make it a statutory authority that has the powers in order to deliver and drive this project. The stumbling block will be funding. What the federal government is waiting on from the Queensland government is a business plan in relation to Cross River Rail. Labor's number one infrastructure project for Brisbane is Cross River Rail. But the state can't afford it and there's no promise of money from the Commonwealth kitty for now. Look, I think it's premature to be talking about dollar commitments and how they may, the, how they may be allocated. My ideal split will be that we'll try and get the private sector to contribute funds. If the latest plan ever becomes a reality, it would be finished in 2023. George Roberts, ABC News, Brisbane.